A senior U.N. figure visited North Korea last week and met with high-level officials there. Jeffrey Feldman claims to have suggested two things to them. Resume dialogue with Seoul and participate in the Winter Games as a way of reducing tension. Some pleasant surprise, the envoy says the regime's representative seemed very sincere. Wu Zhengyi shares with us what he learned through the talks. The United Nations official who visited North Korea last week said he suggested Pyongyang resume dialogue with Seoul and participate in 2018 Pyeongchang Winter Olympics. In an interview with New York-based South Korean reporters on Thursday, the UN's Under Secretary General for Political Affairs Jeffrey Feltman said he told the North that the two Koreas and their military authorities need to resume talks to solve the nuclear issue peacefully and diplomatically. One is a restart. Or, or initiation of the type of military to military and intra Korean channels that can reduce risk. How the North reacted is not known, but he said Pyongyang did not seem to see denuclearization as a realistic option. He said he also suggested competing at the 2018 Pyeongchang Winter Olympics as a way to shift the direction of the current situation, but can't predict whether the North will participate. I hope that they will take some of the, some of the um, ideas that, that we put on the table and pursue them, including, including participation in the Olympics. Feldman said Pyongyang authorities listened very attentively to his suggestions, noting them down and asking questions. Also speaking to CNN on Thursday, Feldman said he was worried about the lack of communication channels with Pyongyang and that there was a, quote, high risk of some kind of miscalculation that could lead to war. He added that lack of trust has driven the regime to rely on military deterrence in the short term. Feltman was the first senior U.N. official to visit the North in six years. During his four-day trip, he met with high-level Pyongyang officials, including Foreign Minister Lee Yong-ho. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.